Welcome to our bed. <laughs> <laughs> this is our camping bed. We know you've seen the bed in other videos, but we wanted to give you a more in-depth look at how we are able to yeah. use it. It clips into the existing middle row seat anchors. Um, it folds out from a bench seat like it currently is into a bed and it also swivels around. All right. Perfect. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and measure the bed in its sitting position. So this is with the extra piece attached. Let's see how wide it is. Okay, it's about 37 inches wide and that could be smaller if we took off this back panel. Okay, let's see how tall it is. Okay, this is about 40 inches tall. I wouldn't go any bigger because it's at the max um, for fitting inside well. Let's see. And we have four feet exactly long, wide. So we would use this if we have friends in the back seat or if we swivel around and hang out in the back. How much do you pack away? One eighty one. Two seventy six. Two seventy six. So it's about ninety five pounds. Huh. It doesn't feel that heavy when we do it together. No. Okay, so one thing before we turn this is that we have we have holes cut into the foam and to this leather cover that allow for seat belts to come through. So that's how we feel comfortable having passengers. But this is where a seat belt can pass through. And then we have another one right here. On the side here, we have levers. So there's one like this on the other side. And when we pull it down, we're able to move this joint so that we're able to extend the bed. This is free moving, so we can always make it longer. Uh, but this requires both of us to hold on and push it out. There's these snaps, if you'll notice, and Ford has custom sewed this entire fake leather piece. And pulling this back, you can see we have two layers of pretty thick foam. And then there's a piece of cardboard right here. And that's what is on top of this frame. And you can just slip this back on over, snap it in. So it's easy to access if anything should happen to it, but this leather provides a really good protective cover as well as making it more functional and holding everything together. All right, so opening this up oh, to reveal the underneath. We can snap some of this off. I'm gonna open the side. Should we? Just show how it oh. the whole piece comes off. <laughs> Scary. The snaps are instrumental in attaching everything to the frame. They hold all the cardboard and the foam onto the frame. The frame consists of three quarter inch electrical conduit piping, and then some cables. The cables have been falling off. They aren't attached super great, um, but the cardboard kind of helps even out the load, so it works all right for now, but we do need to fix up some of these. This is just so that when the bed is open in the van, it has something to rest on in the back. Mm, so this bar rests against the floor, the of, the floor van. of the van. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. So on the underside here, is where you can see the components that we took from another minivan. We went to pick and pull, got a junker set of seats and took the components off that so that we have the right mechanism that fit into our current setup. Extra seat belt buckles right here. And then this is the latching mechanism um, that fits into our current setup where we lock the seats in. Right here we have the system that lets you pull the seats closer or further away, depending on how much space you need. We can kind of scoot it back 
use storage for snacks or whatever while we're driving and then scoot it forward when we need more headspace or whatever. Anything I'm missing? So these are a second set of the same latches. That's what holds the seat in place because it rotates on this turntable. We can either have the bed facing forward and use it as a regular seat for extra people with these seat belts and then unfold it to use it as a bed. Or we can undo the latch, spin it around, and then use it as kind of like a couch. Have the rest of the back of the van to stretch out and get comfortable in. We also have these levers right here, and these release both sets of latches. So these are used to both swivel the seat as well as to unlock the latches to pull the seat out. We didn't change any of the cable lengths, so this lever operates both this latch and this latch, and the other lever operates the other two latches. You have to pull both the levers at once when you're trying to remove it from the car, which makes the bed a little loosey-goosey on the swivel. So that's something that we probably should have addressed and fixed, but we have not done that yet. We needed to add this cloth here when we put in the bed seat because the hook on this side is a little large since it came out of an older set of seats. So this is with the front seats pushed all the way forward. That's what gives us the space to turn this around. It gives us a nice kind of living room area and plenty of space to stretch our legs. And You have enough clearance. Yeah, plenty of clearance, plenty of headroom. Yeah, it's really comfortable. Glad yeah. we have the option to do this while we're on the road. It works pretty well. Well, since you've already seen this in its true bed form, this is where we'll leave you in the video. And we'll see you next time.